reaction pH, soil acidity and alkalinity and nutrient availability. Introduction The microorganisms and plant respond significantly to their chemical environment. Any soil solution is physi physiologically characterized by its neutrality, acidity and alkalinity in nature. The reaction of a solution represents the degree of acidity or basicity caused by the relative concentration of hydrogen ion acidity or hydroxyl ion alkalinity present in it. Acid acidity is equal to H greater than hydroxyl 7 less than 7 to greater than 0 0.0 neutral hydrogen is equal to hydroxide is equal to 7.0 basicity hydrogen is less than hydroxyl that is greater than 7.0 to less than 14 soil reaction soil pH scale the soil reaction can be measured in terms of soil pH values soil pH is the negative logarithm of the hydrogen or hydronium ion activity in soil solution expressed in moles per liter. Sorensen proposed the term pH where P stands for potential of hydrogen ion. He defined pH as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion activity. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. pH is equal to minus logarithm hydrogen or H3O or pH is equal to 1 divided by log hydrogen ion concentration. Why pH ranges from 0 to 14? It is due to self ionization or self dissociation constant Kw of water molecule due to its atmospheric nature that is act as both an acid or a base water does not always remain as hydrogen oxide molecules at 25 degrees centigrade self ionization of water is potassium equivalent is equal to hydrogen wood, hydroxyl and the product of the molarity of hydrogen and OH ion is always 1 to 10 minus 14 Kw is equal to hydrogen ion Hydroxyl is equal to 10 raised to minus 7, 10 raised to minus 7 is equal to 10 raised to minus 14. Hence, just a few units can induce significant changes in the chemical environment and sensitive biological processes due to its values in logarithm in it. For example, a soil with a pH 5 is 10 times more acidic than a soil with pH 6. Similarly, a soil with pH 5 is 100 times more acidic than pH 7. Acidic soils. Soil acidity refers to the presence of higher concentrations of hydrogen ion in soil solution and at exchange sites. They are characterized by low soil pH and with low base saturation. Acid soil therefore occur widely in humid region. In acid soil regions, precipitation exceeds the evapotranspiration and hence leaching is predominant causing loss of bases from the soil. Active acidity is due to the hydrogen ion in the soil solution. Salt replaceable exchangeable acidity is developed due to its sub-hydrogen ion and aluminum ion on exchange complex or soil colloid. Residual acidity is, is, it may be defined as the acidity developed due to adsorbed hydrogen and aluminum ion in non-exchangeable form with organic matter and clay content for reserve acidity. It is a figure of acid soils. So you can see that it is a humus and clay. So residual acidity aluminum and hydrogen bound on clay and humus then it converted to salt replaceable exchangeable acidity aluminum 
aluminum hydroxide and hydrogen ion held near clay and humus surfaces then active acidity aluminum and aluminum hydroxide and hydrogen ion in soil solution alkaline soils alkaline soils salt like carbonate of calcium magnesium and sodium also give a dominance of hydroxyl ion over hydrogen ion in the soil solution when salts of strong base such as sodium carbonate go into soil solution and hydrolyze conjugately they give rise to alkalinity factors controlling soil reaction nature of soil colloids soil solution climate soil management parent material decomposition of organic matter native vegetation soil depth nitrogen fertilization and flooding so all these factors controlling the soil reaction importance of buffering in agriculture definition buffering refers to resistance or tolerance to a change in ph if 1 ml 0.01 normal hcl is added to 1 liter of pure distilled water of ph 7 the resulting solution would have a ph of about 5 on the other hand if the same amount of acid is added to a soil suspension the resulting change in ph would be very small there is a distinct resistance to a change in ph the soil suspension is buffered against a change in ph the degree of buffering is highest between ph 4.5 and 6 and drop up below ph 4.5 and above ph 6.0 <coughs> importance of buffering in agriculture buffering buffer capacity of soil the capacity of soil to resist an abrupt sudden changes in the soil ph soil having more of clay and organic matter exhibit higher buffer capacity resisting the change in soil ph the higher is the csc and base saturation of a soil the greater is its buffer capacity importance of buffering in agriculture the stabilization of soil ph so the regulates plant nutrient availability second the amount of amendment required to change in soil reaction the effect of ph one nutrient availability the unproductiveness of acid and alkali soil is very often due to the lack of available plant nutrients in highly acid soils no ph the ability of some nutrients such as aluminum iron manganese etc is increased to a point to become toxic to the plant at the same time supplies of available calcium nitrogen phosphorus etc reduce to starvation level the same is the case at high ph alkaline condition nutrient like nitrogen phosphorus and some minor elements like iron manganese boron etc most microorganism function at their best within a ph range 6.0 to 7.5 if soil reaction is changed beyond this range the microorganisms become function less here on left side range of acidity on the right side range of alkalinity and the ph 6.0 to 7.5 is a neutral soil ph <coughs> and the major nutrient nitrogen phosphorus potassium are more available at that soil ph you can see here that uh, the iron manganese boron copper and zinc are more available at 5.0 to 7.0 soil ph whereas the exception is molybdenum so molybdenum are more available at the range of alkalinity that is it will be more available at 
but we should have to keep soil pH neutral means 6.0 to 7.5 so that majority of the major nutrients are available to the plant and we are getting more crop production. Soil pH and nutrient availability so acidic strongly acidic major nutrient deficiency so at that pH Micronutrients are more available, but, but major nutrients are avail not available like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. In neutral, optimum pH range for plant growth, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and sulfur are more available at neutral soil pH. You can see here that iron, manganese, boron, copper and zinc are more available at slightly acidic soil alkaline soil strongly alkalinity so in uh, strongly alkalinity trace element deficiency like zinc fem and copper boron but the exception micronutrient molybdenums are more available in alkaline soil so this figure indicate that the nutrient ability depend on soil ph Therefore, we have to keep the soil pH 6.5 to 7.5 so that majority of the plant nutrients available to the plants and we are getting higher 